welcome to the middle of nowhere. So we've got blue skies, a blue lake, a blue car, a road in the middle of nowhere. Why am I here? Come along and I'll take you on this adventure. Before the roadway, there was Valentine's Day 2023. The Queen. Here's my mom, the Queen, walking outside and taking stairs for the first time since December 4th, 2022. This has been a journey. My prayer and my hope was definitely realized on this day. And as I said to her, this is huge. You just gave yourself a huge Valentine's Day gift. What a game changer. When someone injures themselves, especially a senior, the world can start to shrink a bit to where they don't want to go outside. They don't want to do this and they don't want to do that. They don't feel they can. And what I have done is just remind her of what she's given us our entire lives, which is hope, belief in ourselves. She would always say, you cannot fail. You will not fail. The God in you won't let you fail. And I reminded her of that. And I have also said, I don't care how old you get. I don't care what happens with your health. I will not leave your side unless I precede you in death or unless my health doesn't permit it. This world is for you. Nature is for you. I want you to be able to go in the car. I want you to be able to go back to your house, see the flowers at your house. I want you to see everything. As long as you are alive, this world is for you. It's not just for young. It's for everybody who's here. And I want you to experience everything. Let's go. And here she is under the blue sky in nature, approaching the mulberry tree. God is great. Let's go back to the roadway. We're looking at, out here looking at land, gorgeous orange grove for sale, and this is almost five acres. And my car is dirty. <laughs> Oh, my yeah, you don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a good idea. Why do you say that? <laughs> uh, because uh, the gro grove seemed to be going out of business. You know, I mean. Grove, right. So you if know. you, yeah. So if you're gonna keep the orange trees there, now if you're gonna clear the orange trees, you'll have a bunch of land. Um, you know, so certainly. There would be a bunch of land that you could do something else with, plant something else with, you know, yeah. or do vegetables or something else with it. But I understand what you're saying. They were dog wood trees. They were big flower dog wood trees. Oh, that's really cool. I love the dog wood trees. When they're flowering, they're so pretty. They're just so beautiful. acre of land out here this morning this gorgeous morning with mom and this acre this acre is for sale with this lake behind me so it's really beautiful <laughs> 